Hello, so a talking head video today. Uh, you have to excuse the lighting and the microphone and the camera that's on my action cam today because I've been relegated away from the office. So I'm going to talk about the B450 motherboard and the Ryzen 5 CPU that I've got with 3600 megahertz RAM. So let's go back a bit. So I had the Ryzen 5 3600 that was installed on my X570 motherboard. I also had Corsair Vengeance LPX 3600 CL18 RAM and everything was working beautifully. I then decided to upgrade my processor to the Ryzen 7 3800X because I got an amazing deal on that. So I then moved the Ryzen 5 3600 and the uh, Corsair RAM over to my editing PC got a new motherboard which was the MSI B450i which is an ITX board installed the processor installed the RAM booted up everything was fine I then enabled XMP and the computer just wouldn't boot it just kept going round and on a cycle so it obviously didn't like the RAM at 3600 megahertz so I then went back into the BIOS and set the RAM to 3200 megahertz CL16 it booted up fine and everything was just fantastic I then overclocked the Ryzen uh, 53600 to 4.2 GHz all cores and I then tried to set it on the same settings that I had on my X570 board uh, that was with a voltage of 1.325 volts it booted up but it wasn't stable every time I video edited or did a stress test it would just crash so I then went up to 1.35 volts and everything was stable I recently updated the BIOS on my gaming PC, but I didn't bother with uh, the editing PC because, to be honest, as long as it's stable I, I, and I have a lot of work to do, I just want that to, to continue working efficiently and without any issues. Uh, but I did have a look on the MSI website recently and noticed that a GISA 1006 beta um, BIOS was uh, available. So I decided to download it upgrade the bias of the motherboard which went very smoothly and at that point I thought hmm let's try the memory again let's try 3600 just um, activate XMP and see what happens and lo and behold it works perfectly no issues whatsoever did a stress test fine hmm what about the voltage and CPU surely that can't change that a BIOS revision can't make this much of a difference or can it? So then I went to 4.2 all cores and then down to 1.325 volts booted did some video editing fine did some stress tests absolutely fine so after upgrading the BIOS and I think it was from a GISA 1004 to 1006 I seem to have full support for 3600 MHz DDR4 memory at CL18 and I can actually run my processor at the 4.2 GHz overclock but at the same voltage that I was running on my X570 board. So I thought I'd share this information to see if anyone else had had a similar experience to me uh, or maybe it can help someone to make a decision because I'm confident now that the new BIOS has certainly made a big difference on the B450 boards. So uh, that's it. It's just a quick talky video. It's not scientific at all. It's just purely my experience. And uh, yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching.